Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, April 4th. Happy Monday to you all. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We had a beautiful weather today as well as yesterday here in Southern California. So beautiful. And also, congratulations to my beloved twins winning their first game of the season, and uh, Danny Valencia and Denard Span getting their home runs all the way. So hopefully, it'll be a better uh, season to come. Uh, so, anyways, let's kind of get started here. There is no economic news releases scheduled for today, but we do got, uh, it's kind of a light week this week. We got the Fed minutes coming out tomorrow, so that's gonna be important to uh, look at what's gonna be, uh, what they're, what the Fed says about inflation, because that's kind of what what's on the investors' minds right now is inflation, because obviously we're seeing the uh, price of barrel up to 108 now. We're heading into summer uh, with the driving season, so oil typically gets more expensive as more people use consume it with going on vacations and and such. So look for um, unfortunately gas to go even up further. Uh, stock market is barely up today. Not a whole lot of headline news out there. Not even out of uh, the Middle East or even uh, Japan. So we don't really have a lot there. But uh, this week we basically got the. ISM services will be coming out tomorrow as well as the Fed minutes tomorrow and then uh, initial jobless claims coming out on Thursday will be the main thing. And speaking about the Fed, later this month we'll be having the Fed's uh, forecast uh, which they do on a quarterly basis of so the last one was January. And the difference this time around is that the Fed's actually doing it the day that they release the forecast, uh, speaking about it, giving their announcement, whereas before they were waiting about three weeks afterwards. Now, the reason why they're doing this is that with the timeliness of the markets that they wait three weeks, the market could easily change in that time frame and investor gets a little jittery about what's the thinking behind the Fed. So we found out in the past, the more transparent that the Fed has become, the more likely the market's gonna react the way they uh, would like them to react. So by releasing it sooner, they're able to get the market to react sooner and kind of get the market moving rather than guessing what's going on for three weeks. So that's been kind of important. So let's take a look here at the bond market. We have a, well, as we saw Friday, it was a big drop off. Uh, we did have a pretty big opening gap here today, uh, right here. So we have a pretty big gap here. Uh, we're up about nine basis points, but I look forward to see kind of upward trend now, uh, maybe slightly sideways and going up again, but I think we're gonna see some more improvements. So rates are actually better today than they were on Friday. Uh, look forward to seeing that. All right, folks, I'll catch you tomorrow, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day.